let's take another question on mass point geometry it's an advanced question so here we'll understand uh, another concept which is split mass concept so let us first of all understand the question and, and then we'll go back and understand how we use split mass concept so the problem says that in a triangle abc de and f are on bc ca and ab respectively so we can uh, refer to the figure directly that abc is a triangle def are the respective points on these lines and we have also been given that ae is equal to af which is equal to cd is equal to 2 that means this length ae is 2 af is also 2 and cd is also 2 and the length of bd and c is 3 respectively so bd is 3 and ce is also 3 and the length of bf is 5 so all these values are given and it further says that de and cf intersect at point o and we have to compute this ratio the important thing here is the line de now this is not a kvn rather it's a transversal so usually we apply split mass concept uh, in 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 cases where the transverses are given so let us first of all understand what is the split mass concept and then we'll come back to this question to solve it. Now split mass concept is nothing but an extension of whatever we have done in the very first video of mass point geometry. So uh, we already know that if there is, so we already know if there is some say a rod and there is a pivotal point say point P here. So let me make, uh, let me name it P1. And suppose the ratio of these two lines are 2 is to 3 and we have hanged a weight here uh, of value say 30 kg and we have to hang a weight of 20 kg here so that this particular line will be, stab uh, will be in a stable state. Now the important thing here to note here is that suppose I want to make this particular end so let me name it say if this is A this pivotal point is P1 and this is B. I want to make this uh, point B as another pivotal point. So if I uh, put a rod like this over B and this becomes the pivotal point. Now this rod, uh, suppose the ratio is 1 is to 4. Now to balance this particular rod, so I have to split this mass 20 kg in the ratio 1 is to 4 so that this particular line over B is also balanced. So we already know that if the, uh, the, the ratio of line is 4 is to 1 then the mass will be in the ratio of 4 into 1 here right. So 4x plus x is 5x the total is 20 so it will be split in the so the respective masses would be 16 kg and 4 kg at this point correct now if you look at this uh, splitting of masses so here there is no mass uh, no more mass of 20 kg i have split into the uh, the uh, the the ends of this particular rod but still by the logic by the previous logic the apparent mass at point b will be of 20 kg only and hence a b line will also be balanced so by splitting this 20 kg over on this line has has no effect on the line ab so that is what splitting the masses i we can go on doing the same thing again suppose i want to make this particular point as pivotal and say i want to split into the equal ratio of 1 is to 1 so again this 4 kg will no more be here we have to hang 2 kg this place and 2 kg at this place so therein we can ignore this, we can ignore this, still the entire structure or the system will remain stable. I hope this concept of splitting the mass is clear. So we can go back to the question and see how we apply this particular concept to solve that question. Now in this question, the point C is very, very vital. We have to split the masses at point C. So before that, let's start with uh, the line AB. So the line AB here, the uh, the ratios AF and FB is 2 is to 5. So the masses should be in the ratio of 5 and 2, right? So for the sake of uh, avoiding the fractions, I am uh, keeping a mass of 15 kg at point A. 
so 15 into 2 it will be 30 so the fb the length is 5 so we have to keep a mass of 6 kg at point b and the mass felt at the pivotal point f would be 21 kg right so this is pretty simple nothing new into it now let's move to point ac now here we'll consider point e as the pivotal point so at one end the mass is 15 kg and the length from the pivotal is 2 so 2 into 15 is 30 and the point c is 3 units away from e and hence at point c we have to keep a mass of 10 kg so that this line ac is balanced correct again i have not done anything different i have just ensured that AC, if I only concentrate on AC, then the respective masses would be 15 and 10. But if I move to line CD and if I take D as the pivotal point, then this, then the basic relation of mass point geometry is not followed here. You can see that 10 into 2 is 20 and here 3 into 6 is 18. The reason so is that this 10 is, has been, has already been used to counter or to balance the line AC. We have to put more mass at C to balance BC. Right now there is, right now if I consider BC, I'll assume that I have not put any mass over C. This mass of 10 kg is only for this particular section and not for the other. For balancing BC, we'll take it independently. So let's do it. So the mass at point B is 6 and it is at a distance 3 so the product will be 18 and the distance of c from d is 2 so to make the product 18 we have to keep a mass of 9 kg here fine so this is how we have split the masses at point d the similarly what we have done in the explanation a few moment ago and this splitting of the mass is very very important so if you have not understood it very clearly, go through this video again, twice and thrice, just to understand that how and why we are splitting the masses. Okay, let's uh, go ahead. So, uh, if I look at line AC, then at point E, the weight would be 15 plus 10 and not 15 plus 19, right? So, the weight at point E will be 25. Similarly, a weight at point D, the total weight, will be 9 plus 6 will ignore 10 here so it will be 15 here right now uh, <coughs> observe now observe d o e again we can assume that at point o uh, point o is the pivotal point and the masses at the extremes are 25 and 15 and hence we can say that the ratio should be 15 is to 25 so if you can see that this particular ratio we have identified and that is OD over OE would be uh, 25 by 15 or on further simplification we can say that it is 5 by 3. So the mass total mass at this particular point O would be 25 plus 15 which is 40. Correct. Now if you observe CF. We got this mass 40 by uh, by using the uh, the line ED, right? We have not considered the line CF, but if you can see, if we have done everything correct, then the total mass at C now is 10 plus 9 for CF. Because this is the only line it has to balance. So the total is 10 plus 9 which is 19 at point C and at point F it is 21. So 19 plus 21 is 40 which is actually at point O. So this is how everything has been balanced and definitely the ratio of OC over OF would be in the ratio 19 is to uh, 21 or in fact it will be 21 upon 19. So this is how actually we manage some complex questions which are based on mass point geometry. So always remember splitting of masses are done if there is any line which is transversal. Otherwise we do need uh, we don't need these things. We can uh, by, uh, by using the basic mass point concept we can solve it.